Tanya and it is a travel series. I am in Bangkok right now. So today in the afternoon we started from Pattaya and we reached Bangkok at 6.30 p.m. We have checked in into our hotel. So currently we are staying at the Salil which is in the riverside area. I have been to Bangkok three times already and this is my fourth time but I had never stayed in the riverside area so I wanted to stay in the riverside area this time and I'm pretty much impressed and I'm really liking this area. So now in the evening time, so today is Sunday and we want to go to Khao San Market which is popularly known for its weekend market. It gets set up on Friday, Saturday and Sunday. So today is the last day of the week for the weekend market. So we want to visit that. Also we will be visiting the Asiatic which is just 10 minutes from here by walk. So yes, it's time to rally. It's time to hustle. So let's get going. <laughs> So we went to Asiatic which is just 10 minutes from our hotel and it was an incredible place. It was like so lively, it had so many options for food and I have so many activities also to do. I think I've filmed all of it and we went to food court. We had like um, dumpling soup which was so tasty and then we had a dessert chocolate dark chocolate ice cream uh, from a very very premium restaurant. It was for 55 Thai but luckily it was not that expensive but there were like cheesecake with ice cream and all of that and that was around 300 Thai but just for that dessert which is 
so expensive but it was a nice experience um and uh, i think we will be visiting asiatic again and there was this big ferris wheel i really wanted to go but i just didn't feel like the price was that worth it right mm -hmm. i think the admission ticket was around much, 500 yeah. thai baht it was like okay i understand but so expensive it just didn't make any sense and there was this huge huge queue i think they were waiting in the line to board the dinner cruise that goes in that river i think that was also one of the pick up points right mm -hmm. i think one of the pick up points is icon icon siam uh, mall which is very famous here and i think this one is also one of the pick up points which is in the i think the this was the major one Could Because be. I saw a lot of people there. It was like a big crowd. Big crowd, yeah. yeah. But the river view was so beautiful. Mm -hmm. People were enjoying. People were taking pictures. People were having their drinks over there. So all in all, it was a great experience to be. Awesome. And we were very lucky that it is just you know in the walking distance. So we will be visiting that place again, again tomorrow, yeah. yeah. And then we went to Khao San Market. Which was like really far. It costed us around two hundred seventy three Thai baht. Only one way, so yeah, we paid around I think five uh, hundred plus Thai baht for to and fro, and uh, the hype that was there for Khao San Market, unfortunately, it didn't live up to its expectation. I mean, it was not something for us, I guess. There were like huge uh, crowd. It was very very lively, but it was very very loud. There was like so much going on, but we saw something like very very interesting and weird as well. We saw like crocodile meat that was getting sold there, yeah. yeah, and also so many bugs, scorpions, wor worms, and that was a delicacy over there. And there was also laughing gas. I don't know what is about the laughing gas that was going on. That's the signature thing of Khao San. <laughs> Probably that was so weird, but I think people were having a lot of fun mm -hmm. and so loud music. And I wanted to do some street shopping from there. But it was very expensive again. I, I mean, one T-shirt was around five hundred Thai baht, and it had so many like I love Thailand and um, North Face uh, T-shirts. I don't think they were genuine ones, but they were like five hundred Thai baht. I mean, I would rather get an original piece from proper malls actually. Mm. But yeah, but we didn't enjoy it that much, so we came back really early. I think we stayed there for an hour because mm. we just crossed that street, came back. And then we boarded the taxi and just left. And now we are just going to take rest because tomorrow is an interesting day. Tomorrow is like full shopping day. We'll be going to Icon Siam Mall. We'll be also visiting the Siam Premium Outlet. Hopefully, because it's really really far. I think uh, it's farther than the Bangkok International Airport as well. So we need to figure out, you know, how to go there and come back. Otherwise, we are definitely going to Icon Siam Mall and also the Asiatic. Also, to go to the Siam Mall, luckily our hotel has this service that is free boat shuttle service. So there are like timings, and they have this uh, private boat. They can take you to the Icon Siam Mall, and they also have timings for the return as well. So that is sorted to go to Icon Siam Mall. Only thing that we have to figure out is the Siam Premium Outlet Mall. And apart from that, we got like so many snacks from Seven Eleven. Definitely, I'm. Obsessed with Seven Eleven at the moment, so we got the prawn crackers again. So this was the exact one that we tried in Pattaya. So we got two packets because we really loved it, and we have some more as well. Um, we also wanted to try this one. So this has uh, the ring kind of design for prawn crackers, and then we have the original one as well. So this is the original flavor for prawn crackers. So a lot of prawn prawn crackers that we have here. And then we have a lot of sweet items. So yeah, I'm very very excited about this. So I have this vanilla layer cake, and then I have the strawberry Swiss roll. This is the coffee powder, I guess. This belongs to Abhimanyu, not me. <laughs> I'm the tea kind of a girl, and. I have mochi because I watched so many Japan vlogs and I wanted to try mochi, so I thought, why not? Let me just take it from Seven Eleven and try this. And then I have this one. It's a donut cake which I tried in Pattaya, but this has a different filling. This has Thai custard filling. So yeah, these are the items that we got from Seven Eleven. So now we will take some rest because tomorrow is a big day. I'm a little.
feel problematic. 감당할 수 없어 thinking reckless. 똑같은 실수를 반복해. 이건 habit, habit. You help me when I'm slowly falling. Ooh, heart of gold, will of steel's what you had. Ooh. Hi guys, it's the next day and we had a lovely breakfast and now we are going to get ready for the shopping day. But before that, let me give you a quick room tour. So this is from where we enter and here we have the washroom. The best part is we have Toto so we get like warm seats to sit. And here we have so many products from Han. If you can see we have this hand wash from Han and then we have the body lotion, body wash, shampoo and conditioner as well. And this is where I've set up all my beauty products. And this is the shower area. Uh, quite nice, good shower area. And here again, we have a mirror. And here we have the open closet space where we can hang our clothes. And then here we have the night suits for him and her. And some robes as well. And here we have kept our luggage. Plus we have some storage space in here. And they have provided very useful items like umbrella then we have the dryer and what is this this is i guess yeah for the shoe stuff you know to clean your shoes and some laundry bag as well the locker is right here and then here we have a good size mirror and it's very nice it's very beautiful it has like gold frames i really love it plus something to hang here if you have some very long dresses you can hang it right here it will feel like a boutique and this is the side table and here we have the bed which is so pretty i love the backdrop in here it's so beautiful and they have matched the cushions in that way and also the soft toy which is not complimentary i think it is for 990 thai baht yeah no thank you <laughs> but this is really beautiful and the lamps are also like very pretty and in here we have the TV plus like a small little table. Another table in here, two chairs and I've set up my stuff in here. And we have the mini bar over here with the fridge, with cups, plates, a microwave which we might not use but useful thing to have here. A coffee machine from Nespresso and then we have my kettle in here, some coffee pots and these are not complimentary by the way. And here we have the tissue paper roll and again a mirror. So this is like my current dressing station. So yeah, this is my room tour. I hope you liked it. But there are certain problems in this room by the way. Firstly, there are like no storage space which I'm not like okay about. Um, in our last hotel, there was like ample amount of storage space. In here, we don't have storage space. That's why a lot of our stuffs like are outside. If they would have provided like a closed wardrobe situation or some kind of drawers because there is a provision to have drawers over here even like near the mirror if you can see there is like huge space you can have like a wardrobe or storage space in here but yeah that's the problem otherwise this hotel is really pretty they have like all premium kind of facilities yeah so this is it so this is my outfit for the shopping day. I'm wearing this high neck jumpsuit from Zara. These black sunglasses are I think from Prada. Yes. And these are my black slippers and these are from Zara. I really love this. They are very comfortable and it really matches well with this white jumpsuit. So we have finally reached the CM Premium Outlets Bangkok. It was so far from Bangkok city. It took us almost like one hour, in fact, one hour, 15 minutes to reach here. It was like around 40 plus kilometers far from our hotel. And this was the best way to reach here. It costed us around 673 Thai baht by car. And this was the best way to come here. If you want to opt for buses, it's very, very challenging. It will take you like, you know, to change two, three buses and a train. So yeah, car is like the best option. I hope my expectation is to get, you know, good stuff from good brands with great discounts. Hopefully. So yeah, let's check it out. Steals 
what you had. Ooh. Pick me up when I was sinking in quicksand. Ooh. You piece me together with your ripped hands. Oh, no more to get you, but you gotta understand what you don't say. Guys, now we have reached the Icon Siam Mall. We entered through the Souk place and it was so crowded, but I could see so many places to shop and they were not that pricey. Also, there were like so many food places uh, where you can dine, but there was actually no space even on Monday. It was so crowded, but now we are seated at a private kind of setup, but uh, it's there in the lobby area itself. So we are at Tasty Congee and Noodle Wantum Soup. That's the name of the restaurant. So we'll have something in here for lunch. And I mean, it's a very, very late lunch. I would say it's a early dinner. And then we will go to the luxury side. So you can see there. So there are like so many brands over there. I have some items that I need to shop. So yeah, we will go there. And we'll also check out some coffee places and uh, dessert places as well. Oh. 
so the shopping was successful we got two bags for my two sisters i'm so happy for them i hope they will like it i mean i sent them the options and they really liked it but when they see the bag and real i hope they will like it so the shopping bit was really successful so the luxury ones are done and now we will move on to some other stores which are really really great in here i want to visit naraya which is very famous in thailand i have already have one naraya tote bag which i always use it as a beach bag so i want to visit the store super super excited Now we are at Naraya store and we are looking for some gift options. I really love Naraya. I'm not able to find that exact bag, beach bag that I have, but I'm finding some great options like the puffy puffy ones. So yeah, I'm going to get some for my family and friends. shopping day the day really started a bit chaotic because we really didn't know how to reach to Siam premium outlet stores because there are not many information out there or any kind of youtube vlogs which will let you know like you know how to reach to that place from bangkok but i kind of you know learned it and i want to share it with you so basically when we went to the Siam premium outlet stores we took a grab and it was very expensive and i thought okay that was like the fastest way to reach there because i was checking the bus services and it was like you have to take so many buses and then a train as well or you have to like take three to four buses and change a lot of stations but i found out while coming back that there was a chart and there were like timings mentioned for the shuttle services that comes from the siam premium outlet center to siam paragon which is another big mall in bangkok city so you can reach there and there are timings mentioned so we took the 3 30 pm shuttle service and we reached siam paragon by 5 pm and then we went to icon siam mall because it was in an itinerary but you can also enjoy the siam paragon which is again a very very nice mall and to come to icon siam mall you can take a metro station from the same building itself from same siam paragon mall so there is this terminal to reach to your metro station and then you can board that metro from there you can go to Sathon pier and from there you can walk to icon siam mall or take a boat service which is again so fun because you can enjoy the view and then you can reach the icon siam mall so yeah that's how you can enjoy all the shopping destinations like the siam premium outlet store siam paragon and icon siam mall as well and literally i really loved that siam premium outlet stores there was Adidas, there was Nike, there was Puma, there was Under Armour, Victoria's Secret, Bath & Body Works and there were like luxury stores like uh, Burberry, Versace, Boss, Michael Kors, Coach and I'm forgetting something right? Balenciaga, right. And there was like huge, huge discounts and deals like, you know, 30% off, 50% off. Plus, like um, if you take two or three items from a same store, then you get like additional discounts. So definitely it's like a great place to go and shop and save a lot of money. Uh, and the collection was also good. It was not like, you know, the collections are very old and you don't find good amount of stuff there. But uh, yes, you can find the premium stuff and the popular signature collection from there. So I really loved that place and it was not that crowded as well, probably because we went there on Monday. But um, there were also like a lot of places where you can dine, where you can just chill. And yeah, it was a great experience. And yeah, it was a successful shopping day. And tomorrow we are going to Safari World, which I'm very, very excited about because I want to see all the cute animals. But we have to wake up very early because the pickup time is 8 a.m. So we have to sleep now and yeah, we have to get ready for tomorrow. 
Hi guys, good morning. It's the next day and it is almost like 8.05 a.m. And we started exactly at 8 a.m. for Safari World. And now we are in the car driven by a lady, which is such a nice thing to see. Uh, we woke up around 5.30 a.m. And uh, we got like all ready. And now just going and probably after we come back from Safari World, we have like remaining bits of shopping that's still left. So we will do that at Icon Siam. We'll come back to hotel take a boat service uh, from a hotel which is like a free boat service to Icon Siam and we'll reach there probably in 5 to 10 minutes right yep. like last evening also we returned from Icon Siam by the hotel boat and it took us like 7 to 10 minutes and the same way we are going to do that today and probably at night again we will visit the Asiatic which was a beautiful place to go and shop and eat as well and yeah that's the plan so guys we have reached the safari world it took us one and a half hours to come from our hotel now we are waiting here for the ticket because uh, our lady driver has gone to the counter to get the ticket for us and yeah I'm hoping to have a good time here super excited yeah and yes we actually had booked this entire thing by Klug service so we got the voucher so from that uh, the lady driver was assigned to us to pick us from our hotel and take us here to safari world and then she will only take us back to our hotel so it was like quite a systematic approach so i would also recommend the same yeah now we are ready to go how i try written down the words to say it is time i've been waiting five days to explain how you make me feel inside baby So now we are going to watch the Orangutan show. So there is a schedule present. So at 10.15 a.m. we have the first show that is Orangutan show. And then we have at 12.30 the sea lion show. And then 3.30 a cowboy stunt show. And yes, 11 o'clock. Why 11 o'clock? Oh yeah, in the morning. After the Orangutan show, we have the elephant show as well. But first, now we have to go and watch the Orangutan show. Outside food and water not allowed, so you have to buy water from here. How much was it? 25 baht. 25 five baht, my goodness. <laughs> They're looting, but it's fine. It's much needed. How I try written down the words to say it is time. I've been waiting five days to explain how you make me feel inside. Giraffe feeding was like one of a kind experience. That was something that I was most excited about. And it was all worth it. I was waiting for this moment and we were looking for it. And it is so, so sunny out here. 
but somehow we managed it and it was so good isn't it they were so cute <laughs> and it was actually one of a kind experience i love the zebras who were sleeping unko to koi matlab hi nahi tha duniya daari se they were just chilling out there they were taking the sun bath but my nerves are inside out is because you're not worth less than perfection ooh that it was in my hands now Abhi's eyes were like watering because of the wasabi that we tried, and this place is um, what's the name? It's Akimitsu Tengen, which is an icon here. <laughs> How was the wasabi? Just show me your eyes. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> It was, I think, the most intense wasabi that we have ever tasted, right? No <laughs> proper wasabi, I think. Proper, because it's a proper Japanese restaurant, and it's like a some kind of award winner, eight gold medals. This restaurant has won. And honestly, I am very excited to try a dessert which is called pan chai, if I'm not wrong. Pan chai, which is in here, and it's actually won Michelin star for four consecutive years, I think. Consecutive or just four years? That's what I know. And uh, I'm very excited to try that. Probably we'll try it tonight. Now, baby, what are we trying? This is the yuzu, Japanese yuzu. This is Japanese yuzu. Vanilla, baby. So we are going for vanilla shoe bun, and it will be our first time to have shoe bun. I mean, we tasted right now, but yeah, we are really excited because we had seen this on Master Chef Australia. So yeah, pretty excited. We have come to the second floor of Icon Siam right now, and here we have like a very very big Apple store. You can see right there, and. Amazing collection. I mean, they have everything of all the Apple products uh, present here. But the difference is not that much when you compare the Thailand prices and the Indian prices. Not much difference is there. Only I think you will get the benefit of VAT refund. Other than that, I don't see any point of getting any products from here. But yeah, it's a beautiful store. You can come here and explore this place. Plus, you can come directly to this area, which is a very beautiful area to just. Relax and spend some quality time with your loved ones. Guys, we have ordered pancha in original flavor, but the size is like so big. I'm so scared. I don't think we both can finish this off, and I think we'll have to eat a little bit here. And then take it to the hotel, uh, but I hope it's tasty. I think the price was around three eighty Thai baht, which is expensive. But of course, it's 
Michelin award winner so it has to be expensive but I really hope that we love the taste because it's something that we have never tried so yeah let's see I'll update you guys this is a dessert this is a pancha this is huge okay this is huge and it looks good but it all comes down to the taste of this I don't know but I really love the cutlery and everything but guys I was wrong the original cost is 385 baht but when they include all the kinds of you know service tax back and all of that it comes to 447 five baht it is expensive very expensive but yeah let's see I hope that's gonna taste good seriously I don't want to waste this huge amount of money <laughs> Bangkok vlog please like share and subscribe